some of those new additions that I think is great. Of course, Levolution, that mm -hmm. being implemented is not just a kind of an environment change. It also sure. changes the metagame, the dynamic of yes. the game. Uh, and I think those are huge pluses. What are some of those, uh, for those that are just tuning in for the first time uh, here in day two, yeah. I didn't have the chance to watch day one. What are some of those different things that we can see there with uh, dealing with Levolution? I think, yeah, Levolution is a, is a concept that you know, encompasses you know, everything about the, you know, how the map plays out. We, we want to create a, an environment that is you know, extremely dynamic both when it comes to the the second second action of the players, where you can you know you can shoot fire extinguishers to to hide in the right, hide in the in the smoke in the screen. Smoke screen. Uh, you know you have like uh, alarms going off when you jump onto a car, for instance. You can hear where the enemy are in the environment. Uh, we have bigger things like you know the classic destruction of walls and and smaller uh, structures, and then of course you have the big uh, skyscraper on this map uh, that right. you can actually take down, uh, and then. After that has happened, after that event, you actually create a big dust cloud that covers the entire right. map, that creates a new environment for all the players on the map, uh, especially for uh, people like helicopter pilots that have a very short uh, view distance and, and snipers that, you know, all of a sudden right. it's not as effective. That's one of the things that we've been seeing all throughout day one was uh, whenever that skyscraper would fall, uh, the debris coming yeah. out there. I mean, it makes it difficult for even uh, some of the recon classes mm -hmm. that are trying to, to make some shots. Yeah. So let's go, go ahead and uh, go down that route as well. Uh, talking about the uh, the different types of attachments for some of these uh, primary weapons, mm. uh, having the ability to have uh, an optical, but also a secondary portion of that, a second attachment with uh, some for which we like a, a, a canted, yeah, canted uh, iron sight yeah. as well. Yeah, so we have we have done a lot of stuff to to enhance the the, the core you know shooting experience. You know where guns now have even more a accessories, uh, also you know, deeper customization. Mm -hmm. So you can even customize your handgun now, right. um, which is very very cool. You know, canted size. You have alternate optics on your gun, so you can you know flick over and get you know uh, X12 on uh, on right. your on your gun. Uh, so there's a lot of you know big and small things that uh, you know both for the you know hardcore battlefield fans but also for the newcomer that is quite exciting something that i also noticed so i remember that you're able to in previous versions you would have the ability to change from a burst fire to an automatic yes. to even a single shot mm -hmm. and that's still here involved in Absolutely. this game and one of the things that i also uh, saw as well in the recon with the sniper glass or mm -hmm. having the ability to to actually change your focal zoom, having the, the seeing the, the your range yeah. finder. Yeah, as yeah well. there's a range finder in the for the recon class, and and also uh, you can also have multiple uh, zoom lev levels, right. uh, which is very very cool. So you can actually go from a you know four x zoom to a twelve x zoom uh, in right. in real time, so to speak. It's and it's and it's great. So for those of you that are at